सॉल्व कॉस एक्स प्लस फाइव बाई सिक्स इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वेर एक्स लाइ इन द इंटरवेल जीरो टू टू फाइव हियर दे टोल्ड यू टू सॉल्व सो यू शुड फाइंड द वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स सैटिस्फाइंग दिस इक्वेशन एंड ऑल्सो इट शुड लाई इन द इंटरवेल जीरो टू टू पाई हियर यू हैव टू पाई दैट मीन्स यू शुड गेट द आंसर इन रेडियंस फॉर दैट पुट यूर कैलकुलेटर इन रेडियंस मोड आई रिपीट पुट यूर कैलकुलेटर इन रेडियंस मोड नाउ द गिवन इक्वेशन इज कॉस x plus pi by six equal to minus zero point five. Now to get the values for this, here we have cos and here it is negative. So now we should check in what all quadrants is cos negative. It is all silver T cups. Cos is negative in the second and in the third. So x plus pi by six equal to to get an angle in the second. We should do pi minus cos inverse zero point five. To get an angle in the third, we should do pi plus cos inverse zero point five. Now remember this. The negative sign here is only used for selecting the quadrants. Once quadrants have been selected, do not place negative sign again here. Remember that. Now, x plus pi by six equal to. Make sure your calculator is in radians mode, and now you calculate this. You should get two pi by three. Calculate this. You should get four pi by three. Now, see, man. In what interval should x plus pi by six lie? How do we decide that? In this way, see. Here x lie in the interval zero to two pi. Here we have x plus pi by six. So what I do is I add pi by six everywhere. So we get pi by six less than x plus pi by six less than two pi plus pi by six is thirteen pi by six. So now x plus pi by six values should lie in this interval. Then automatically x values will lie in this interval. Clear? Now, does two pi by three lie in this interval? Yes, accepted. Does four pi by three lie in this interval? Yes, accepted. Now. If to get another angle, I should add two pi to this. Now, if I add two pi to this, I get eight pi by three. That does not lie in this interval. So that confirms we don't need to find any more angles. Only these two angles lie in the given interval. Now. Now to get the values for x, we should remove this pi by six. To remove that, we subtract pi by six everywhere. So we get x equal to. Put this in the calculator. You get pi by two. Put this in the calculator. You get. Seven pi by six. This is our answer. Am I clear? 